We got some hot new leaks that, uh, you know, caught my attention. The OnePlus 7, you guys know I've used almost all the OnePlus devices, at least the recent ones. But this leak over here, this, this, this uh, new story here, seems to indicate that OnePlus is gonna do something that no like, popular phone in North America has done, and that is put the selfie camera into a motorized structure like some of those more obscure, more premium devices from Vivo and Oppo that we've seen and showed off here on the channel. Of course, if these leaks are presumed to be real, is very similar to what we saw in the Vivo Next. It's this slim, kind of motorized pop-up selfie camera, which you guys, if you've been following the channel, you know this is not really a big issue for me since I'm not a big uh, selfie camera user. I, I wouldn't even necessarily launch that thing. In fact, Probably for me, the, the aspect that I would miss more is the face unlock because of course that front facing camera is gonna have to pop up every time in order to utilize face unlock. So they're gonna have to have some significant speed there on the motor to make it feel as seamless as what's currently available on the OnePlus 6T, which is the most recent OnePlus device. But I have to commend them if they do go this route, by the way, I should shout out on leaks as well as price Baba, that's where the leak originated we keep talking about differentiation we keep talking about wanting to see uh wanting to have options that aren't all identical don't appear to be the same now granted obviously the oneplus brand not the first to implement this type of thing but one of the first definitely the first in north america to do so to bring this in a big way to a global market to everyone and presumably at an attractive price point because that's what they've done with their models in the past. So I applaud the ambitiousness. And after all, what else should a tech company be doing other than trying to provide us with something that uh, motivates us, something that changes what we're used to, and that's, that's kind of what happens here. Now, if you're like me and you rarely use the, the front-facing camera, the selfie camera, this kind of implementation might be worth the exchange for you. You may say to yourself, I'm sick of notches. I just, I don't wanna stare at it. You may say to yourself, I don't want a hole punch display. You can pick up something like this if this render or these images happen to be true and you can be done with the notch lifestyle completely, which allows you, enables you to get a slightly larger display into the device. Now, as far as the other specs, they've also been leaked. It looks like it's gonna have a triple camera setup carrying a 12 megapixel camera with an F1.5 aperture, as well as a 20 megapixel F2.6, as well as a 3D time of flight sensor, so 3D capabilities. Now, of course, also presumably, this device is gonna have the latest from Snapdragon, we'll probably see the 855 in there. Maybe there's gonna be 5G capabilities. I'm interested to see what happens with the price. The screen could be as much as 6.5 inches FHD plus, based again on the rumors and leaks that currently exist. It is said that it will likely carry six gigabytes of RAM and a battery over 4,000 milliamp hours. And if that comes in at the right price, I think OnePlus is gonna move a number of these units. I think this will be a very exciting and popular choice, especially when you consider what OnePlus does with the software, you know, the overall package they deliver typically. But there is one glaring missing feature on this particular device that, I mean, just for me, you might be different. OnePlus has talked so much about how fast their charging is, warp charge and so on, it used to be called dash charge. Uh, but here's the thing. There's no wireless charging, and that's for sure because the CEO of OnePlus, Pete Lau, he came out and actually said no intention of adding wireless charging to this device. OnePlus has been against it since the jump, and they continue to resist. So for me, not so happy about that. Of course, you can live with it. Of course, you get faster charging without wireless, but so many competitors now have wireless charging, so that's just something to keep note of. It's something to be aware of. Nonetheless, if that's it right there, pop-out camera, on a OnePlus phone, I mean, it's just cool. It's science fiction, you know? If you're a tech fan, you gotta appreciate it. I called it ambitious. That's because it is. Can't wait to see if this thing comes true. It's starting to look more and more like that might be the next OnePlus phone.